Hi, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Good to have Good you evening. here. Hi, Good Arnaldo. Evening. Good evening. Welcome. Nice to see all of you here very, very early. How was your day at work, Arnoldo? Did you have many things to do? Today is also very, very easy. Yesterday uh, is payment for, for all people. And today, ah. all people was, was paying his house. And the ah. sales of pain is very, very high in this moment. Ah, okay. So that sounds good. Congratulations. Congratulations then. And today we start December. Uh, Anna, which is your favorite month? Do you like, which is your favorite month of the year? Is it December or which one? ¿Cuál es su mes favorito del año? December, January. December. December. <laughs> ah, okay. That sounds good. What, why else? ¿Por qué más? Are there other reasons? Porque compartimos más en familia, por estar de vacaciones todos. Yes, and the weather too, right? El clima, the weather is nice and the year yes. is over. Yes, today we start the last, the last day of the, I'm sorry, month of the year. Okay, everyone, I'm going to take the attendance. Please remember to activate or turn on the, the camera. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, Ana Beatriz. Present. Ana Lilian. Present teacher. Este, voy manejando. Okay, Lily. Okay. Be careful. <laughs> then Carlos Antonio. Present. Thank you. Elizabeth Martinez. Eli. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Arnoldo. I'm here, teacher. Jose Galileo. Jose Jonathan. Present, Miss. Okay. Jose Rodrigo. Juan Carlos. Laura Carolina. Present. Okay, thank you. Maria Concepcion. Present. Maria Elena. I'm here. Okay. Mayra Moreno. No. Okay. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here, Miss. Okay. Omar Francisco. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Okay. Zaira Marleni. Present teacher. No, como que sí. Wendy Zavaleta. <laughs> okay, Wendy. And Jenny. Jenny Estoy Zuleta. peleando con la computadora. <laughs> ah, okay. It happens, but you came right on time. <laughs> okay, so let's start. We're going to start with a vocabulary activity. I am going to give you just a part or one. Sorry, Brian. Aquí estoy. Okay, Brian. Ahí lo agrego. Okay, so in this moment, you have to create new words using the ones I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you a part of it. Les voy a dar una parte de una palabra. Like this, ring. And you have to create a word using the one I'm giving you. Ustedes tienen que crear nuevas palabras utilizando la que ya les estoy dando. For example, wedding ring. Wedding ring. Okay, you have to create a new word. Tienen que pensar en palabras compuestas que llevan la palabra ring. Así como la que yo acabo de colocar. Wedding ring. Is it clear? Questions? No? Okay. Anna, are you ready, Anna? One word, una palabra que lleve ring. 
<laughs> no. Laura? Okay. Bring. Which one? Bring. Bring. Pero tiene que ser una palabra compuesta. Teacher. <laughs> Una consulta, le iba a hacer. Yes. Este, si wedding, o sea que solo no tiene completa la palabra R-I-N-G, solo termina en I-N-G, entonces así sería. Repeat. Parte de la palabra. Es que estoy viendo la que puso, wedding ring. Mm -hmm. o, o por decir, wedding es como boda. Ajá. Amigo de boda. Rela ah, ok, relacionada a, a la palabra que ponga. Es que, ajá. Ah, vaya, empecemos con otro y después ponemos ring. Sí, porque Utilicemos la palabra room. Con este room es un componente. Puede ser una palabra, pero podemos crear otras palabras con ese. Y finalizando eso, por, por ejemplo. Como decir classroom. Classroom, ajá. Y tenemos una. And you have bedroom. To think bedroom, ajá. That's another one. There are other ones. Podemos crear otras. Ok, so let's go with, ajá, uh -huh, living room. Nelson, other ideas? Classroom. Next. Esa ya la dijeron. Ah, oh, I'm sorry. Eh... Se me ha olvidado cómo es que dice <laughs> compañero de cuarto. <laughs> I'm going Se to give ido. you a moment to think about okay. it. <laughs> Let me Dining know. Room, Dining room, Tisha. Dining room. Thank you. Brian, another word. No se me cruza por la cabeza. No, no. ok. Arnoldo, and you? Roommate, emergency room. Ajá, uh -huh. roommate, an emergency room. Thank you. Elena, more, more options. Mm, no, I don't know. No, okay. And you, Wendy? Room? Ay, teacher, no he puesto atención por estar luchando con esa computadora. Okay. No sé qué están haciendo. Okay. Lo siento. Okay, it's okay. Pero qué, 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 qué lo que es lo que es You have to create new words using the word room. Estamos haciendo palabras compuestas que lleven la palabra room. But yes, you have Classroom? to think. Ya la dijeron. Hay muchas que ya las dijeron. But. Bed. If, yeah. That's taken too. But it's okay. It's okay. Nice. Uh, let's continue with. Let me check. Zaira, do you have another one? We still have other ones. Miss Ronful. Living room. Uh, Living room. Meeting room. Meeting room, yes, okay, two other ones. Nelson, which one? Okay. Uh, room full. Room full. What do you mean? Full. I room have full. I haven't heard that one, but thank you, Nelson. Okay. Room and teacher, bathroom, ya habían dicho. Bathroom, no. Room, room teacher. Which one? Maria Concepcion. Room, room and teacher. Roommate, no. ya lo dijeron. It was, it was mentioned before, Eli, but thank you. Eh, María Concepción, I didn't hear you well. Broom, teacher. Broom. Uh, no, porque no es solo de agregarle una, es una palabra. You have to add one word, not Board. only one letter. Boardroom. Pencil room. Boardroom. Okay. Pencil. Pencil. Room service. Room. room service. Room service. Uh -huh. Correct. Okay, now another one. Panic ring. Room. Thank you. Hoy sí vamos a ir a ring. Wedding ring. That's one idea. Mayra, another sure. idea. Yes, Carlos. Sorry. Tell me. Compromise. Ring. No sé qué están haciendo. Ah, okay. Give no me entrar. one moment. Okay, Mayra. Sorry, Carlos. Can you repeat? Compromit room, ring, perdón, <laughs> me quedé con la otra. Ah, de, el de compromiso. Ring, yes. Engagement. Engage. Engage. Engagement oh. ring, ajá. The Lord of the ring. 
Huh? The moon, diamond, right? diamond ring teacher, Sarah. Ah. Yes, yes, that could be another one. En engagement room, diamond ring. Okay, thank you. Another possibility, Jonathan, with ring. Um, no, I don't know. Miss. No, okay. Um, Ellie? With ring? Mm, no idea for the moment. No. Okay, Arnoldo Maybe. or Oscar? Uh -huh. Rinton. Okay. Rinton. Rinton. Yes. Or car, Rinton. car ring. Car ring. Car ring. Ring car. Eh, como el, 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 el sonido. El... El, no, el aro. El aro del. del ah, ok. Desde donde car va la ring. llanta. The tire. The tire. Ah, ok. Got it. Car ring. Uh -huh. Thank you. Yes, Oscar, tell me. Olympic ring. And not um, repeat, please. Olympic ring. Los okay. Olympic, ah, Olympic rings. Uh, well, I haven't heard that one before, but I imagine it exists. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you, Oscar. Jonathan? The Lord of the Rings. The Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yes, I think Oscar mentioned that one too. <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Okay, that's that's another one. Okay, and ring the doorbell. Door uh, bell ring. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's another possibility. Okay, okay, that's it. But thank you. You came up with different ideas. Okay. So first of all, if you wish, you can use the reaction, the reaction icon. Podemos utilizar la, los iconos de reacción y así vamos a ver su, your opinion. Bueno, no, no tiene este, este. Uh, okay, one moment. Okay, you can raise your electronic hand, okay? If your answer is yes. I'm going to share the book so you can see the question. Is there a quality department in your workplace? Guys, do you have a quality department in your company or workplace? Please raise your hand, electronic hand, the ones who have an, a quality department. Los que sí tienen ese departamento, can you raise your electronic hand if you have it? Can you hear me? Okay, we have Arnoldo, quality department. Yes, teacher. Eli, okay. Laura. Carlos, Elena, Ana, do you have that department? Okay, please keep it like that. La dejan ahí, up, so I know. Thank you, Ana. Alguien más tiene quality department? No, nobody else? Jonathan, Elena, Mayra, Brian? Okay. Okay, thank you for your answer. You can leave it like that. Ahí la pueden dejar por ahorita, su manita, electrónica. Don't move it. Okay, Jonathan, in your personal opinion, are they, or is this department important in a company? A quality department, is it important? Are you there, Jonathan? Um, okay, Carlos, what about you? Is it important to have a quality department? Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Excuse me, este digo Jonathan. <laughs> yes, Jonathan and then Carlos. <laughs> but yes, Carlos, what do you uh, think? Uh, mm -hmm. Repeat the question, porfa. Yes, is it, is it important 
to have a quality department in the companies? I think, uh, yes, it is important. Why? For the, for the standards, the procedures. Um, also review the, the operation or maintenance. Mm -hmm. um, uh, oh, man, the mass, or, or, or the also? focus in, in focus ah. in the procedures. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Carlos, for your opinion. Elena, what do you think? Do you consider that it's important, essential to have a quality department? I think yes, uh, because he no es crear, sino que lo regulan, como puedo decir, regulate, regulate um, the quality of product or service. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Elena. Now, in your case, Arnoldo, you have a quality department. Do they monitor and evaluate your procedures? Do they check, evaluate your procedures? Yes. Could they, you tell us uh -huh, a little bit more? They monitor and evaluate uh, my procedures and the procedures of the old department. They are in charge of regulate the, the best functionality in the company. When the, we, the, the department, they win the, the bonus. Mm -hmm. Maybe when a procedure of uh, checklist, the no sé cómo se dice eh, la evaluación de, de, de cada departamento porque por ejemplo lo digo en español para que me ayude Ajá. Cada, yes. cada, cada este departamento se encarga de ver que, que cada departamento en sí cumpla con ciertos requisitos ciertos parámetros para ganar algunas veces el bono o para ganar algún incentivo extra. Por ejemplo, donde yo estoy ahorita, cada cuatro meses evalúan al personal y de acuerdo a los, a los puntos que tengan buenos, así re se recibe un bono del 200% del sueldo cada, cada cuatro meses. Mm -hmm. It sounds very good. La atención al cliente, la atención a los mismos compañeros, a los clientes internos, y la atención personal de, de, del mismo departamento, que no haya desorden, que no haya suciedad y que todo se mantenga fronteado y con la capacidad de, de, de evaluar, de, de, de que el cliente encuentre lo que necesita justo enfrente. Ah, ok. Well, it's a good motivation because it's a big bonus, the one that they are giving every four months. But thank you, Arnoldo, for your comment. Ana. What about your, your, your quality department? Do they evaluate all the procedures? Yes, they should evaluate procedure and the quality of the product. Quality. Um, mm -hmm. Quality, sorry. The quality of the product. El inojo. Vamos a ver. Acto para el consumo humano. Eh, la trazabilidad. Eh, de todas las materias primas. Por si ah, existe okay. alguna, algo que esté fuera de, de la normalidad, se toman en cuenta las dos habilidades. Ah, ok. So they check everything, everything in that yes. quality, quality department. Ok, Ana, thank you. If you want to say, for example, materia prima, that is raw raw products 
raw products. That is, uh -huh, raw products. Okay, thank you, Ana. And Laura, one more comment about your, your quality department, please. Uh, I consider it's important for, uh, because the person in charge of, the, of this department verify that the information and procedure, procedure do not have mistake and qualify the quality control and uh, in the case the personal the the uh, sale uh, for pay uh, commission uh, bonus uh, for ¿Cómo se dice? Por incremento de, de la venta. Or high. Or, or for, for the high, increase, uh -huh. increase in Incre sales. Increase sales. Uh -huh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Y también está enfocado la primera parte a que es el control de calidad, pero en cuanto a los procesos internos de las actividades de cada empleado. <laughs> Lo que quise decir. Thank you. I, I like your Spanish, guys. It's, it's good that you can mix both both at the same time. It's difficult sometimes. Okay, let's talk about satisfaction surveys. Wendy, are you familiar with that term, satisfaction surveys? ¿Conoce ese término, Wendy? Or you, everyone? For example, with Instafor. entiendo, satisfacción, pero surveys, no. I, I will Nivel? give you a no. Le voy a tratar de decir in English, y si no, luego se lo digo in, in Spanish. In SACOR, okay. in the last week of your classes, you have to complete a satisfaction survey from in SACOR. Encuesta de satisfacción. Uh -huh. That one. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. So, what do you think about those surveys? Do they work? ¿Qué piensa de ellas? ¿Funcionan? Do they work? Are they important? The uh -huh. yeah. Satisfaction surveys. In what general, or in uh -huh. my work? Or... No, in a general way. What is your opinion about those surveys? Yes, is uh, uh, for the clients or for customers. Uh, express satisfaction or, or insatisfaction in with product, with service is important. It is. Yes. Insatisfaction seria ti, dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction. Ah, satisfaction. Satisfaction. Satisfaction or dissatisfaction. Dissatisfaction. Satisfaction. Uh -huh. Satisfaction. Okay. Thank you, Wendy. Okay. Ellie, what about you? What do you think about satisfaction surveys? Are they important mm -hmm. or they are not necessary? Mm -hmm. I think depend the company. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. In company is very important, but in other company, no? Only uh -huh. why? How do why you say? Just... How do you say <laughs> pantalla? <laughs> how do you say? Ah, pantalla? pero eso es como un dicho, como superficial, right? That is what you mean. But in in, in English, other com in other it's, company. You can say, only, only face. I know how to Maybe you can say that it's not real or it's just an appearance, but it's not. It's not real. Uh huh. It's not real. Mm -hmm. They order. don't care. They, you do it, but nobody does anything about it. Lo hace, pero no parece que 
que haya un cambio, right? That is what you mean. Yes. Okay, thank you. Now, Zaira, you work in a hotel. Do you, do you evaluate those ones? Las consideran? Do you consider that in the hotel? Oh, Zaira just disappeared. Mayra and you? What is your opinion about satisfaction surveys? Mm, it is important because it helps to improve um I ayuda no sé help, help? The, yes. the client and the customer uh, in the opinion is important. Uh -huh. It's important to know the opinion of the customer, right? And to improve or to be better in the company. Okay, I'm going to give you an example of a survey. Okay, give me just one moment. Let me look for the picture. Okay, I don't know if you can, if you can read it, but this is a sample. This is a sample of of a survey, satisfaction survey in a restaurant. Here you have some questions. Here you have some questions you can use. Ese solo es un sample, es como una idea de cómo es una de, para un restaurante. Solo no sé si lo logran ver bien porque no se ve muy bien la, las letras. Okay, question number one, how many in your party? Si se recuerdan, party, right, era el group. How many in your party, date, the type of uh, meal, dining, take out, breakfast, lunch, dinner, name of your server, what did you order, quality of food, excellent, good, fair is like um, fair, Teacher, I have a question. Uh, yes. In the structure, how many in your party? And then party substitute Group. the object. Object, they put the how many? Mm, for example, how many apple? And aquí, and how many? No hay, no hay un objeto. Eh, Yes, there's no, there's no noun because you have it here. No se pone ahí porque ya lo tiene aquí. Es como, como que ya estuviera implícito. Solo se va a hacer un, un chequecito. Digamos como cuando usted hace un chequecito de la, de alguna respuesta de, de esa pregunta. No, you have, you use a number. Aquí se usaría un número. Porque prácticamente dice que cuántos habían en su grupo. Pero no pone people, pero podríamos agregarle. Pero como que es redundante, por decirlo así. Porque sabemos que estamos hablando de people. Entonces como que, para no decir cuántas personas en su, en su comida o grupo, solo dice how many. Pero sí se podría mm. poner el... Y aquí okay, ponemos teacher. five, six, seven, three, etc. Thank mm -hmm. you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, and here you have some things that they are evaluating. Entonces aquí pueden ver algunas cosas que evalúan. And you use the check mark, ¿verdad? Depende cómo les parece. Excellent, good, poor, it's like terrible, poor. Fair is like so, so. Es como, ah. Uh, Normal, normal, that could be fair, good or excellent. And you have comments, right? Siempre queda la parte de comments if you want to give more info. In the book, in the book we have another one, another sample. Aquí tenemos otro sample de una satisfaction survey. There are different, different, Designs. Hay diferentes diseños. It depends on the company, but you have you have different options. Okay, and they ask you questions. The server was able to answer your questions. Y aquí ponen números: one, two, three, and four. 
strongly disagree, strongly disagree is that you don't agree at all. Strongly disagree es como que para nada de acuerdo. Ok, es como no. Disagree, ok, ahí no es tan, solo es como en desacuerdo, right? Agree, ok, estamos de acuerdo y strongly agree, muy de acuerdo. So you have different ways to evaluate. Hay diferentes maneras de, de evaluar with numbers or with words, excellence, and, and that stuff. Okay, now checklists. Y aquí hay otra que se parece, checklists. Okay, do you know about that one, Mayra? Checklists, not surveys. Eso serán surveys, right? But checklists, some ideas? Es, hay, en, en español es que es una lista, es como para ir chequeando. Este, a nosotros nos hacen de auditoría, nos hacen a nosotros, pero yes. ahí lo pasamos. Correct. Ajá, uh -huh. we have checklists too. Now, thank you, Mayra, that's the one. What do you think about checklists, Oscar? Are they important? Or what? What is the use of checklists? In my case, uh, use the checklist uh, from about the regular the articles or item when when a car is having. In this case, uh, the in, in the transport. Uh, they have. Uh, they need to have. They, they need to have. El cono, entonces, eso sirve semanalmente, every weekend. Uh, the the driver need or is imperative to sign the the checklist. When the why every item, verdad? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Thank uh, you, Oscar. Do you want to include something else? No sé si iba a agregar algo más, Oscar. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Thank you for your comment, Rodrigo. Do you use checklists in your yes. workplace? You yes. do. Yes. The, the use and con inventory control. Checklist. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are they important? Do you consider them important too? Yes, important. Que cantidad de sistema igual a cantidad física. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So everything is in balance, right? Yes. It's equal. Yes. yes. Uh -huh. Which one is more important, checklist or satisfaction surveys? What do you think? Two. Checklist and satisfaction. Ah, okay. You can say both of them. Para decir ambas, podría decir both of oh. them. That is the both phrase. Of uh -huh. them. O solo okay. both, right? De, de ambas. ambas. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Both. Okay. Pero si no, both of them. Both. Okay. Both. Both. okay. Thank you. Zaira, do you use checklists in the hotel? I am have my word a uh, checklist. You have or you don't have? Yes. Saira? Where are you, Saira? Saira is not here anymore. Okay, but uh, yes, Sally. Pero, pero es que yo no entiendo el contexto de checklist porque Checklist es como de atención al cliente o, o de qué. Okay, we can help you. Mayra, what is a checklist? Can you try to explain in English? Es que ella dijo, eso me confundió, ella dijo de auditoría, <laughs> que ella le decía en auditoría. Okay. But in Entonces, a general es... way, Mayra, what is a checklist for you? Checklist is... Um... Ay, no, es que en inglés no lo puedo decir. Ay, pero es, un, okay. es como un listado 
de, ah. es un listado de actividades importantes, Maeli. Así como nosotros nos los pasan en auditoría, así como requerimientos de cosas que tenemos que cumplir, como una revisión, y ahí nos dicen, denos la factura, denos la planilla, denos tal cosa, como un requerimiento de todas las actividades que uno tiene que hacer en el trabajo. Mm. Okay. We will explain more. We will explain more. Thank you, Mayra. And, okay, who would like to explain in English? ¿Algún volunteer que quiera explicar <laughs> checklist? It, it is, Hi, Zaira. Okay, one moment, Carlos. Zaira se me está yendo. Se me desaparece, Zaira. I think it's the connection. Turn off the camera if you need to. Si quiere apague la... Si quiere apague su cámara un momento en lo que le mejora su, su señal, Zaira. If you okay, hear me, okay. no sé si me escucha. Thank you, Ajá. And did you have a comment, Zaira? No sé si tenía un comentario. Did you have a comment, Zaira? Ok. Carlos, please help us. More simple is activity list. Una lista Ajá, de Ajá, list of activities. Correct. Ajá, that could be a simple way to put it. For example, y bathrooms, bathrooms in restaurants. They have, um, when you go to Pollo Campero, Pizza Hut, they have a list. The employees, they have a list and they have all the activities to clean the bathroom. For example, here, clean and sanitize tables, check, done. Or you have to wash the, the toilets. Okay, son como, como tareas, uh -huh, como una lista de tareas que un employee tiene que hacer, quizás every week, every day, algunos días. Y en los baños a veces de los restaurantes, no sé si los, los han visto o, o tú, Eli, ahí tienen, por ejemplo, quién lavó el baño, cuándo, y lo firman y todo el mundo lo ve. Because I have seen. Yo, yo he visto. So, hoy sí, that is a checklist, Eli. Yes, teacher. And there. I, there are different types. Yes, Elena. Is used by or for... Um, reduce fail human. Aha, uh -huh, correct. That is how they are used. Thank you, Elena. Okay, here you have a sample. Here you have a sample of a checklist in a restaurant, a cleaning. Well, it says restaurant cleaning checklist. We can use, and then it says initials, and then you have the days of the week name, and you have the activities. The activities, they vary. Las actividades varían dependiendo de, del establecimiento. Okay, so here you have some ideas. Okay, so I just wanted to show you a, a sample. Okay, solo querías darles una muestra, un sample of it. Questions before we continue? No? Okay. In the book, I'm going to go back to the book. Give me one moment. You have to complete the satisfaction survey using the words in the box. Tenemos que completar esta satisfaction survey and you have to use the, the words in the list. Okay, it's a seated, dishes, dining, taking and server, and you have the blank spaces. Ahí están los espacios vacíos. You have to read, analyze, evaluate, and then we check. You can use the chat or the notebook, and in a few minutes we check. Si quieren lo hacen en el notebook o en el chat, y en un momento corroboramos juntos. A ver si todos tenemos lo mismo. If you need help, let me know. Si necesitan ayuda. Me avisan.
Thank you, Wendy. In one moment, we will check. In one moment, we will check, but I appreciate it that you sent them. Guys, let's begin in one minute. In one more minute, we will start together. I send in WhatsApp, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm checking right now. I'm checking in this moment. Okay, everyone. So now let's check together. Let's see if all of us have the same info. Vamos a, a ver si todos tenemos lo mismo. Okay, let's begin with Nelson. Number one, Nelson. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Number one is... Mm -hmm. uh, taking? Taking. Taking? Uh, no, no, Nelson. Oh. But thank you. Vamos a revisar Omar. What do you think? Number one. Which word do we need? We were? No idea. No idea. Miss. No idea. Okay. Okay. Let's try with Saida. Saira, Saira has... Dining, teacher. Dining. No. No, Saira. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mayra. Ideas. Yo tengo sit. Oh, no sé cómo se dice. Seated. Uh -huh. Ajá, ahí es. se pronuncia. Seated. Thank you. Yes. That's the one. We were seated. Se recuerdan que vimos passive voice. Así como ligeramente que utilizamos um, el verbi y el past participle. Esto es passive voice. We were seated fast. It means that the, the host or the, or the waiter took us to, to our table fast. That is what it means. Okay, thank you. Number two. Number two, Brian, ideas? Yes. Uh, I think is the server was there to take our order quickly. Thank you very much, Brian. Ellie and you, do you have the same opinion? No, or... for me, server too. The same, server. Mm -hmm. That's the one, the server. Thank you, Brian and Ellie. That was the one. Okay, number three. Wendy, would you read your opinion? Taking the chair. Number three. Mm -hmm. Can you read the, you. the sentence? All the, the sentences. service was friendly and per, per, patient. Pa, ¿cómo? Patient. Patient. Okay. The, ser the server was friendly and patient when, when taking our order. Thank you, Wendy. What is your opinion, Arnoldo? Number three, the same? The same, the same as the same, thank you. Wendy. Thank you. Taking is the one? Correct. Okay, now Carlos, can you read number four, please? Uh, our server coordinate the thinning and the... Um... I'm going to help you with the pronunciation and you, you repeat again. Coordinated. Coordinator. The Coordinator. timing. The timing. Okay, could you repeat everything? Our server mm -hmm. coordinated the timing 
of the dining. Of per the... Perfectly. Of the dining. Okay, thank you, Carlos. And you, Elena? Number four? The same opinion as Carlos or different? It is different. Different. What do you have? Our server coordinating of the timing of the dishes. Dishes. Ah, Perfect. Okay. Thank you, Elena. Anna, do you have dishes or do you have dining? Dishes. 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 That's the one. Thank you. Is the dishes, the timing of the dishes perfectly. Thank you. Laura, can you read number five, please? The server was able to answer all our questions. Thank you. Able. 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 Uh -huh. Can you read one more time? Uh -huh. Eyeball. A. Eyeball. <laughs> yes, eyeball. Repeat okay. one more time. Everything. Okay. The server was able to answer all our questions. Thank you very much. Rodrigo, can you read number six, please? Overall, the service was excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, can you, can you read the next one, Lily? Are you at home, Lily? No sé si ya llegó or not yet. No. Oscar, can you read number, number seven? Considering everything, our dining experience was a good value. A good value. Thank you. And that's the one. The last one here is dining. Okay. Do you have questions? Questions for me? No? No questions? Okay. No, teacher, aún no he llegado. Ah, okay, Lily. Okay, sorry. Pensé que ya, ya había llegado, but it's okay. Okay, now in groups, you have to prepare um, the answer. You have to prepare the answer for these two questions. Okay, vamos a trabajar en equipos y vamos a crear un pequeño, una pequeña composition, una pequeña explanation, explicación. For question number one and question number two, are satisfaction surveys a good way to make sure procedures are followed in the restaurant? Number two, do you consider placing posters about procedures in strategic places will help employees follow those procedures? Okay, entonces van a hacer una pequeña composition con su team para responder esas dos preguntas. La primera prácticamente Dice de que si las satisfaction surveys se aseguran de que se sigan, o sea, de que se ayudan a asegurarse de que los procedimientos sean seguidos en los restaurantes. Que si eso es lo que hacen, ¿verdad? En number two es sobre poner posters. Poner posters en, en lugares estratégicos para como que recordar al employee de que tenga que hacer algo, que lo haga. So that is what you have to elaborate. We will work in groups. Questions before I, I separate you? No, no questions. Okay, let me create the rooms. Okay, I'm going to be making changes. Ahí están pendientes. Voy a hacer otros movimientos en sus rooms, but for now, please accept, accept the invite.
Jonathan, you can stay here. Se puede quedar acá, Jonathan. Or if you want to, or no sé si usted desea, pues, you can go to the other room. Teacher, yo acepté la invitación, pero sigo aquí. <laughs> okay, Zaira. I will send it again. Okay. Give me one moment. Hoy sí le he estado fallando, ¿verdad? Su, su internet. Vamos a ver qué será. Let me see. Tengo problemas. Yo estoy entrando y saliendo a cada momento, teacher. Debería tratar de resetear, resetear su, su router. Probablemente eso, eso arregle la señal. Puede o ser, mire, que yo mandé a dormir a... Porque se le corta mucho y la verdad no le oigo todo lo que dice. Solo una parte. Ahorita no sé si usted me oye, pero ya no, no la escucho hablar. Zaira. Ya regresé, teacher. ¿Y, y si le cayó la invite para ir al room. Ah, cuando la mandó por primera vez, sí, yo la acepté, pero Number no two. me fui a ninguna parte. O trabajo solita. Ok, if you want to say it, porque igual no va a poder hablar casi con sus classmates por su señal. Ok. Ajá, ok, stay okay. here. I'm going to leave. Y luego, pues, me, me manda sus, sus answers. Ok, okay. let me... Thank you. Uh -huh. Digamos, subir arriba, bajar uh, abajo. Subir arriba, uh, bajar abajo. Ah, okay. <laughs> bueno, veamos aquí, dice... Our satisfaction, son las empresas de forma de asegurarse. Se Ay, pero no encuentro la página. No ¿Qué página es? Se me en la perdió. página 23. Ah, página 23. Se me pierde. Se me pierde. 23. Okay. 23, sí. La parte 3, paid work. Uh, guys, I'm going to close the rooms because I have to take the attendance. Ah, okay. and then I'm going to send you back, but we will take the attendance and then we'll be back. Hi, good evening. Hello. Okay, Hello. I just need to take the attendance. I need to take the attendance and then I will send you back. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Present. Teacher, on your, on your mm -hmm. question. Yes. Uh, yesterday, uh, before I, after the class, Wendy uh, cried about the- The homework. The, uh -huh, the homework. Ah, yes, I reported that. Ya lo reporté. But they tried to fix it and it hasn't been fixed. Lo trataron de resolver como usualmente va y no funcionó. Entonces tenían que como que hablarle a un técnico. So it hasn't been fixed yet. Ya se reportó, pero todavía falta que esa persona <coughs> entre al sistema. Resuelva. Uh -huh. Y si no lo resuelven, no nos va a afectar en el récord. No, record. no. Uh -huh. It's not your fault anymore. It's not your fault anymore. Okay. Pero si lo solucionan, sí, sí. Ahorita, nos you know. tira como, ahorita nos tiran como a, nomás 96. Ajá, uh -huh. no sé. correct. Yes, Ana told me, Ana told me last week, creo que me dijo ella, Friday or, or Thursday. Mm -hmm. yes. So I already reported. Ya, ya okay, lo reporté, thanks. pero todavía no, no me han dicho que ya está. Okay. Okay. Lily, Lily, Lilian Reyes, Brian Javier, okay. Carlos Antonio, 
Present. Okay. Jose Arnoldo. Present. Jose Galileo. Uh, Jose Jonathan. Okay. Jose Rodrigo. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos. Laura Carolina. María Concepción. Ok, Laura. Present. Elena Guadalupe. I'm here. Mayra Moreno. Present, Omar Francisco. Present. Okay. Oscar Arnulfo. Present. Zaira Marleni. Hey, Zaira, I have you here. Connection problem. Present, Nelson Gavarrete. I'm here, Miss. Okay, sorry. And Wendy Maribel and Jenny, Jenny Santos. Present. Okay, Wendy. Teacher, yes. a mí no me nombró. No. Eh, a mí no me nombró. Okay. Solo a los jueces. <laughs> okay. Elizabeth Martinez Gámez. Present. I like teacher. your last name. El último, último. It's, it's like you. Gomez, right? But Gámez. Okay, thank Gamble. you. Ah, Games. Uh -huh. yes. Thank you. Okay, so guys, I will give you most of it seven minutes. Okay, so you have that in mind. Up to seven minutes to finish that simple, but give me your opinion as a group. Okay, máximo siete minutos. We will be back around nine ten para que se hagan una idea. You have an idea about the time. Tengo una emergencia eh, laboral, tengo que hacer una llamada. No problem, no problem. Teacher, tengo It's que okay. hacer una llamada de trabajo. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead, that's yeah. fine. Uh -huh. Nelson, how are you doing? ¿Qué tal va, Nelson? Vaya, va aquí a tocar, estoy con... A mí me va a solo. trabajar solito ahorita. Sí, va pero... Va a representar sí, a, ahí al, al grupo. Al grupo, ok. Ya le ayudé con ahí. la primera. Ok, Nelson, do you need help? No sé si quiere que le ayude, hay algo que le cuesta. Eh, sí, quizás sí, mis, eh, uh -huh. no mucho comprendo eh, la número que lo permite. La pregunta. La pregunta. 
Vaya, pero que vaya, yo estamos viendo que la primera como que es para una encuesta para que digamos que los customers sería la que lo llenarían, ¿verdad? Ajá, vaya. La segunda es sobre posters. A veces algunas compañías es ponen como... como un mural. Que po, un mural. Ajá, como que pongan ajá, un mural con, con, las, con los procedimientos, como que recuerde usar mascarilla. O algunos ponen, lávese las manos. O sea, son como recordatorios que los ponen ah, en su papel. Ajá. Ah, ajá. ok. Sí, es como un... O como es... podríamos decir, una, una pizarra o un... ¿Qué? Informativa, algo así la llaman a veces. Ajá. Entonces, pizarra la pregunta es, ¿usted considera que esos pósters que ponen Sirven, ah. sirven para que la, la, los empleados sigan los procedimientos o es por gusto o, o no sirve. Ah, ok, ok. Esa es la pregunta. Ahora, usted Ese sabe que ajá, el propósito de las actividades, Nelson, es que usted se exprese, ¿verdad? En inglés. Así que lo animo, ¿verdad? Que sin pena trate de elaborar sus ideas, trate de poner en papel lo que piensa y luego me lo dice. Y ya cuando yo le escuche, yo le doy algún al, retroalimentación, ¿verdad? Para ayudarle, ayudarle a mejorar. Okay, así que okay. puede, puede pensar ahí en qué decir en inglés. Es sobre los posters, si sirven o no sirven, para recordarle al empleado lo que tiene que hacer. Y en el otro room, este, pues ya, ya vemos sus ideas. Ok, thank you. You're welcome. See you in Gracias. one moment. In the restaurant. Hello. Ha, hello, mm. teacher. How are you? How are you? I'm good, and you? <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, Brian. Make it lost, Lily, I will see. Very well. I will answer. Maybe. Let me read. We consider this survey to be an excellent tool to identify possible in provide in procedures that the employees do in the restaurant. Yes, it's perfect. Está perfecta. Habrán utilizado Google Translate? No, hombre. No, teacher. No. We consider the survey. Ah, o sea, okay. que teníamos probado. Wow. Ok, hasta con adjective clauses. Ah, sí, y, um, sí teacher, ya, ya sé que tengo, tenemos que usar el I, we, you, she, antes okay. de decir algo. Ok, but yes, it is correct. We no, still have pero one, teni, one more minute. Teníamos dudas con el do, fíjense que los empleados hacen en el restaurante por decir sí. make o carry out, pero no sé. Wow, Pienso yo que carry out, out todos, ajá. Yes. Che, ¿verdad que do estaría bien porque es como que ellos Ajá. hacen a diario, ¿verdad? Ok. Jorge, sí, a poner ese vamos a dejar. Considere. <laughs> ok. Do you, do you have more questions before I leave? Eh, en esta segunda, teacher, que eh, dice que habla de los pósters. Racing uh -huh. va acerca de los procesos. Ah, de poner como, ¿qué? Como recordatorios. Recordatorios. Where the face mask sobre los procedimientos o, o reglas, ¿verdad? Del lugar. O ah, mire, okay. haga esto, haga lo otro. La pregunta es, ¿sirven o no sirven para recordar sí, sirven. al employee? Sí, 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 sirven y mucho. Ah, ok. Si sí, esa es la opinión. Ajá. Entonces póngale que sí, ¿verdad? Que le recuerdan al employee que lo tiene que hacer. Como la face okay. mask, ¿verdad? Wear the face mask. Okay. Y luego. Ajá, ya vi que no utilizan Google Translate. No, teacher. No, no, de acá, right? Ok. Sí, right. sí ahorita Ajá. estamos inventando con los verbos que nos podemos, teacher. Ok. Ok. El procedimiento. Sí. Me voy a ir porque okay. los distraigo, but you're doing well. See you in a no, minute. <laughs> In, in, in companies, no. Hi. Hi. Is area or in company? 
How are you doing? Bueno, ahí estamos, si <laughs> A ver si okay. se ve bien la primera. <laughs> And I will check. Entonces le ponemos. I have a question. En esa parte donde dice it is good and not procedure, what do you mean? Eh, uh, Lo de en medio. It is good and not procedure. Que no es bueno para, el, para, para los procedimientos. La encuesta. Que, ajá, la no encuesta es de ser buena. Ajá, que no es buena. Que es mejor usar una lista Entonces, de chicos. Póngale, it is not good. It is not. Uh, Ahí no. Uh -huh. In the middle, Ana. The Ajá. Uh -huh. It is not good. Not good. For, 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 proce for procedures. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Y donde dice in a, ahí va a ser because the satisfaction. In A lo borramos, erase y póngale D. Satisfaction service. Okay. Y al final hay que poner it. It would be good, ¿verdad? It hace falta ahí. Después de la coma. Ajá. De Luego la de coma. la coma. Ah, ahí. Sí. Yes. If. If. Con T. O hay que agregarle más a la primera pregunta. Por no, así no, decir. it's okay. It's okay. Algo simple, pero claro. Simple but clear. Okay. okay, I'm going to let you continue. Ya nos pasamos del tiempo, but two more minutes. Two more minutes y así logra okay. completar la. Okay. Esa que hace falta. Gracias. Ok, see you. Hello. Hi, Oscar. Hi, Omar. How are you guys doing? Más o menos ahí. Lo único que nos quitó a... Who? Al compañero... Mr. Mazariego. Arnoldo. No, I didn't. No está, no está ahorita en la clase. Ah, ok. Me entonces. imagino que tuvo un connection problem, I don't know, but it's not here. No está en la clase. Ok. okay. Ajá, it's, así it's que no correct. fui yo. Ajá. It's correct idea. The ideas. Number one. Because we can make, uh -huh, yes, number one, it's correct. And number two, it is an excellent idea. So the staff, the staff is a, va a poner is. No, no lo borre, no lo borre eso, solo póngale, o si no, voy a tomar aquí el, el, el control y lo voy a modificar really quick. Pro. Thank you. So, the staff. Y como grupo, esto se toma como is. Mm. Is aware of the procedures. Y aquí no sé si se repitió by mistake. Of the procedures with the procedures. Sí, se repitió. Ah, ok. Can you especially when they have a But yes. Stuff. Y ya de ahí ya solo le borra eso y pues ya queda perfecto. Ok. Ok. I'm going to give you the control again and I will close the rooms in this moment. Okay. Perfect. You still have like a few seconds, but I will see you in one moment. Okay. okay. Bye bye. Hello. Welcome back. Okay, so I'm going to listen to your opinion, okay? The group opinion. We are going to start with question number one. Okay, okay. and we will begin with Lily, Carlos, and Nelson. Question number okay. one about the satisfaction survey. 
Ok, number one, eh, me sería eh, we didn't evaluate the world. So, is that a yes or a no? Hello? Is that a yes or a no? You do. You think that it's it's a good yes. way yes. to make sure procedures are followed. Okay, can you tell me why, guys? No sé si le han agregado why, why you think so. Carlos, ¿Un por qué? Uh -huh. No, just that. Okay, and what about, okay, we will stop. Thank you, team number one. Now, team number two, question number one, only. Only question number one. Brian, Laura, and Maria Concepcion. What do you think? Are surveys a good way to make sure procedures are followed? Laura or Brian? Laura tiene apagado el micrófono. Ay, I'm sorry. Eh, ahorita, teacher. Ya, ya, ahorita ya se lo activé. Uh, ok. Ay, tenemos es la primera, dijo Bartich. Only number one in this no. moment. La, o, la, o, la otra está en, ah, en redacción. Okay. 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 ok. Diga, eh, Bra, Ra, Brian. <laughs> ok. Um, we consider the survey to be an excellent tool to identify possible improvise in procedures that the employers do in the restaurant. Thank you, Tim. Correct. Now, Omar and Oscar, question number one. The question number one is, yes, because we can measure the result of this procedure. Uh -huh. And I read the, the question, the answer in the group when I was with you and it was correct. Thank you. Now, Anna, Elena, Mayra, what is your opinion? Number one. Okay. You are now or me? Yes. And you? Okay. Um, we say that no, because the satisfaction survey is not a good for procedures. It would be good to use the checklist for this. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh, if I do I se nos quedó el two. It would be good to use. Se nos quedó ahí el good to use the checklist. Thank you. Now, Eli, Rodrigo, and Wendy, number one. What do you think about the satisfaction surveys? Okay, eh, Rodrigo. Oh, mm, solo lo leemos. In my the group, answer. Uh -huh. Yes, because they are good ways. Seems true. The survey we know the client satisfaction, and we release that the products procedures. Um, being fulfill, no sé qué. Fulfill. Uh -huh, fulfill. Uh -huh. Or what are we need to improve? To improve. Thank you. Okay, now let's go back to Carlos and Nelson. Question number two about the posters. Do they work? What was the answer? We think that the poster do remember to follow the procedures. So they the work. Employees. It's a it's, good idea. It's, it's, it's good idea. Uh -huh. It's a reminder, right? They remind uh -huh, about the things to do. Thank you. Now, Brian, Laura, and Maria Concepcion, what is your opinion about the posters? Okay, I'm sorry, teacher. Ay. 
I'm sorry, teacher. No, it's okay. I'm dumb. Este, eh, Mary. Okay. I strongly agree. We consider that procedures, written and visible, help to remember our daily activities and a better performance of each employee that writing procedures help to uh, remember for daily Ay, activities. Está, está re... <laughs> Perdón. <laughs> Hasta aquí llegaba, teacher. Aquí lo reescribí. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. But teacher. thank you. Just strongly agree. I like that you okay. use the word that you okay. study. Okay. <laughs> thank you. Okay. Now, Omar and Oscar, what is your opinion? Question number two about the posters. Mr. Omar, can you read? Okay, it is excellent idea. So the staff is aware of, of procedures, especially when we have new staff. Excellent, thank you. Just one comment, procedures. That is the, the right pronunciation, but the comment was perfect. And then let's continue with Anna, Elena, and Mayra. Well, Anna and, and Elena, sorry. Anna, Elena, yeah, and Mayra, you were there. Mayra. Number two. Mm -hmm. It is very important for the employees in some area of the company, for example, to use the machine there are indication of the safety equipment or different areas of the company. Thank you, Mayra, and you guys. And then Wendy, Rodrigo, and Eli. Question number two. What is Question your opinion? Question number two. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, employee can write in a personal notebook for remember. But it's obligation learn the procedures. Ah, okay. So it's an obligation to learn, yes. <laughs> to remember the procedures then. Yes. Mm -hmm. New procedures or actually procedures uh, write in a personal notebook. But ah. in posters or in, is, is not correct. <laughs> okay. Thank you for your opinion. We have different opinions. But yes, your grammar is improving a lot. So thank you. Okay, now we are going to expand the vocabulary. Vamos a expandir un poco más el vocabulary about restaurants. And Mayra, no sé si me escucha, Mayra. In one moment, I'm going to listen to your answers. Si me escucha en un momento, voy a escuchar sus, sus comentarios, your comments. But okay, this is what we are going to do. Use a dictionary to find the meaning of the words below. Dispenser, dirt, designated, sink, and thoroughly. You have to look for the definition of dispenser, dirt, designated, sink, and thoroughly. That one is kind of weird, right? Okay, please look for them. And in a moment, we come back. In un momento, vamos a revisar si todos tenemos lo mismo. The same, the same opinion. Is it clear? Yes? Okay. Teacher, Ajá. Eh, the concept, no solo el significado, sino que como un concepto así largo. No, just the definition. Ah, definition. Just the definition. Ajá, the meaning. Lo que diga el diccionario. Ajá, in simple words. Hay, hay algunos que son como sencillos de entender. Vamos a tratar de usar esos. Are you there, Zaira? Zaira, do you hear me? Mm 
Zaira, no. Hi, Carlos. If you want to, you can stay here. Si quieres, se puede quedar acá. Cambia Nelson a otro team. So if you want to, you can do it here because I know you're busy. Sé que está un poco ocupadito. So you can, you can stay here. Don't worry. O si no puede Thank participar you. mucho, I understand. Gracias. Uh -huh.
Hi everyone, welcome back. We are going to check the answers together. We will check the answers together in this moment to make sure that we understand, we understand the words. Okay, dispenser, number one. Okay, Rodrigo, Rodrigo and your team, what is your opinion? What is a dispenser? In, in English. <laughs> Dispenser. dispenser, a machine that dispenses uh -huh. or provides something. Correct, thank you. Guys, can you give me examples of dispensers? Do you have one idea? Just to make sure that we understand. Call a hell dispenser. Uh-huh, yes. Elena, which one? Automatic cashier. Yes, that could be a dispenser. The water dispenser, that's another one. Soda dispenser, just for one thing, right? Wendy? Do you have a, do you have a comment? Uh -huh. uh, no, dispenser, no. for example, uh, hail alcohol. Uh -huh. alcohol. Correct. Eh, eh, so, ¿Cómo se dice? Ah, jabón, pero es soap. 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 Uh -huh. Yes. Laura. Eh, Did no, you? Eh, it's vending machine y cash dispenser, que es como uh -huh. máquina expendedora de cualquier cosa. Vending, uh -huh. vending machine como que encierra. The vending poco. machine could be one type of container. Ajá, ah, que okay. le llamamos vending machine, pero sí es un... Es un dispenser, uh, right? Okay. Of snacks, que de snacks. Ajá, okay. Uh -huh, okay. Right. Entonces todos entendemos que es un dispenser, right? Okay, and you have the definition over here too. Dirt. Now, do you have that one? Ana, Mayra, Elena, Nelson. What is dirt? In simple words, dirt. Teacher, esa yo la, yo la busqué uh -huh. ahí. y fíjese que no me convencía mucho el significado, pero yo, o sea, vi que decía dos oil en suciedad o algo así como, pero no, no okay. me convencía mucho el significado. <risa> ok, Mayra, we will check. Ahorita vamos a ver para que todos entendamos qué, qué significa. Laura, María Concepción, Brian. What is dirt for you? There is much or filled or filled, filled, algo así. Okay. M U C K, tiche, pero sería como mugre o suciedad, pero es como sinónimos, tiche, porque de ahí suciedad enfocado a otra cosa es otra cosa. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. So it is not clean. Uh -huh. It is Mayra. You are right. That is the, the definition. It is not clean. When something is not clean, you can say that we're talking about dirt, suciedad. Mm -hmm. That is what it means. Okay. Y está también el adjective. El adjective también se utiliza bastante, que es dirty. ¿Verdad? Como que si yo quiero decir los bathrooms. Bathrooms are dirty. ¿Verdad? Eso ya es un adjective para evaluar un lugar. Pero si es en común, ¿verdad? Si hablan de la suciedad, si es dirt. ¿verdad? Entonces ahí estamos hablando de dirt. Now designated. Let's continue with designated. Omar and Oscar, did you find the definition for designated? Omar, defiéndanos, Omar. <laughs> you don't have it. If you don't have it, it's okay. Uh, Omar. Uh -huh. It is to choose some officially to do a particular job. Uh -huh. Thank you. That's the one. Who has something more simple? No sé si hay alguien que lo tenga en menos palabras. Rodrigo, yeah. you have a comment? To designate or assign someone or something. To assign someone or something. Thank you. 
Anna, did you have a comment? Yes, it must also be possible to designate different supplies for different directions of the country. Uh -huh. Thank you. So it is, it is correct. I'm going to give you a simple, a more simple explanation. And a specific person or area for something, right? That is designated. For example, we have a designated area for games or the designated person is the manager, but is the specific person, the appointed person, the, the selected person that is designated. Questions so far? No sé si hay alguna pregunta ahorita. Questions so far? No. Okay. Next word, sink. Sink. Okay. Carlos, do you have that one? Yes, teacher. Sink mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. is a bowl shaped plumbing fluxure used for washing hands. This washing and other proportions. Uh huh, correct. I'm going to use the simple version, but yes, what you said is correct. In more simple words, it's an area in the bathroom, right? It's in the bathroom mostly, but in other places too. Está también en otros lugares. But it's the place where you wash your hands. That is the sink, right? A place where you wash your hands or where you wash dishes. Nelson, do you have a comment? Uh, similar, uh, see, it's on basin or container we water the tank and brandy, say you say uh, to wash uh, dishes and chicken utensils. Kitchen, uh huh. Correct. Yes. So it's a place where we where we wash things. I'm going to show you pictures. Please look at the pictures. Sink. Okay, these are sinks. Aquí pueden ver a lo que le llamamos sink. Uh, lava man, lava plata, lava mano. Ajá, uh -huh, it's okay. the area where you wash your hands or dishes or clothes, right? That could be a sink. Okay, let's go on. Throwly. Room. That one was a little bit difficult, but let's let's check. Wendy, Rodrigo, what about you guys? Number five. Right. Okay. Uh, do things carefully. That could be one. Uh -huh. One definition. I like it. Another definition for you, Brian, Laura, Maria Concepcion. Number it's five. A, it's a exhausted value in or, or totally a wash, clean, a bathroom, hang. Thank you, Laura. This can apply to different things. Esta puede aplicar a diferentes areas. So it's when you include every possible part, ¿verdad? Cuando ustedes... Total, clean. Ajá. O sea, como una total limpieza, algo así. Ajá, algo bien riguroso. Okay. Minucioso, Muy... puede ser. Ajá, minucioso. Esa sería la mejor palabra. Y pueden haber muchas cosas, ¿verdad? Que uno hace así. Clean. We can clean like that. Truly. Or maybe an investigation. It could be. Or a research studies puede utilizarse en diferentes cosas que se hagan de esa manera minuciosamente ok, questions in this moment questions for me no, try to remember the words, traten de recordarlas we may use them later porque probablemente las vamos a utilizar ok I'm going to erase a mí no me queda, yes. a mí, ya yes, me queda muy claro la cuatro number que four era, Ajá, era el, el, el muñequito de la de la de mano, de la manos. Pero así como el significado en sí, ajá, cabal, de esa palabra sería. 
El significado en sí uh, es como lavamanos, podría ser, o lavadero. Lavadero, uh -huh. tal vez, porque puede aplicar a un lugar donde uno lava platos o lava cosas. Un lugar donde uno lava cosas es un sink. Um, ah. Gracias, teacher. Entonces, por eso teacher. es que aparecen esos. Yes. Uh -huh. Nosotros en sin, bueno, habíamos puesto is area for basing in kitchen, hand basing in bathroom, cabal, los lavados de mano, pero no sé si la palabra basing in bathroom está bien. Yes, yes, it's ah, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you. Let's continue here. Okay, vamos acá. We will do this alone. Okay, you can use the notebook or you can use a computer. You have to create a satisfaction survey or a checklist to evaluate one process of your workplace. I'm going to repeat in English one more time. Create a survey, satisfaction survey or checklist to evaluate a process you follow at your workplace. Okay. Van a crear, puede ser una survey o puede ser una checklist. Si quieren pueden hacer la checklist, si eso les parece más fácil. Para que evalúen eh, un proceso que ustedes llevan a cabo en su trabajo. Pueden utilizar su notebook o... Um, uh, un document, PowerPoint or Word, the one you need. Do you understand? Si quieren les doy un ejemplo, if you need to, just to make it sure. Okay, let's do it with a checklist. Porque si hacen una, una survey, tienen que utilizar preguntas y tienen que elaborarlas en distintas maneras. Así que quizás es mejor una checklist. Okay, an example. No, sorry, that's not the one. Give me one moment. Uh, ah, I, I close it. Okay, one second. Okay. This is a checklist. Is this is a checklist. I, I show it to you early in the class. Se las mostré al, al principio de la clase. Es una checklist about a restaurant. La que ustedes van a hacer es sobre su company. Y aquí es una, esta es una checklist para la limpieza del restaurante. Y aquí pueden ver la elaboración. Okay. Tiene los días de la semana. Monday, Tuesday, bla, 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 bla. And last completed. Podría ser que le pongan name porque hay diferentes maneras de hacer la checklist. Esta solo es una idea. Y aquí tiene las actividades o tareas. Clean and sanitize counters. Eh, clean the bathrooms. Wash the dishes. ¿verdad? Y ahí le ponen. So you have to create something like this. Tienen que crear una checklist sobre algo que ustedes tienen que hacer. For example, COVID, COVID procedures. Al, por ejemplo, para el COVID, no sé si tienen como un procedimiento que seguir. Entonces lo ponen, ¿verdad? Y ahí ponen lo que tienen que hacer. It's, it's something like that. Do you get it? No sé si me entienden, me estoy dando a entender. Yes. yes. Ok. Ok. Individual, because it's about your company. If you do it in the notebook, you take a picture and then you send me the picture.
Elena, can you stay tonight in your private session, Elena? Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. All right. So I'm going to stay with you. And okay. Maria Concepcion, how are you doing? Maria Concepcion, yo la tengo también a usted en, ahorita, pero no sé cuando se considera mejor. Or if you want to message me, no sé cómo vamos ahí. Teacher, yo ya me siento más o menos, pero sí por rato ah, okay. me siento bastante, entonces por eso es que mejor prefiero estar así. Ah, ok. Let me know. Sí, porque ahorita por eso pero no igual, le he tomado mucho en... Es igual, este, ya la otra, a partir de la otra semana, sí, ya. Ah, ok. Bueno, well, si no, ahí pues todavía está su private session, ¿verdad? Y ahí nos ponemos a... Ya se me acabó uh -huh. la incapacidad. <risa> wow, very fast. Sí. Ya. Ah, ok, María Concepción. En Rodrigo, Rodrigo también, ¿verdad? Que cambió con Omar. Ok, Rodrigo, Monday. Ok, teacher. Monday, Rodrigo. Monday, ok. Uh -huh. Sí, sure. Yes, Brian. Sí, sí. Alcohol, gel, ¿cómo se pone? I'm going to send it to you by chat. Ahorita se lo voy a poner ahí. Please. Y lejía. <laughs> Esa es. Bueno, ahorita se la pongo ahí. Bleach. Es lo mismo entonces. Correct. Yes, Brian. Just the pronunciation changes. Solo lo que cambia es la pronunciación. Alcohol. That is the way you say it. Alcohol. Alcohol. Gel. Okay, thank you.
teacher? Yes. ¿Cómo se dice fármacos? Fármacos. Uh -huh. Would that be considered like medicine? O es como lo que está con una prescription. Es que no, son los que hacen la medicina, creo. Ah, ah, ok. Let me double check. I'm going to double check and I will let you know. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm going to send you a message, Maria Concepcion. I will double check. Guys, can you send your, your checklist in the group, please? So I can, I can see it after the class. Or if you didn't finish, you can finish it tomorrow or over the weekend. Or si no la terminaron, les falta mucho. Yo sé que you have to work tomorrow. La pueden terminar over the weekend. Terminan el fin de semana y me lo, me lo envían. Okay, so I can look at your checklist. And reminder, solo reminder, remember the midterm test and your homework, ¿ok? Recuerden las dos cosas que, que van a, a terminar this week. I'm going to take the attendance. Let's begin. Ana Beatriz. Present. Okay. Ana Lilian. Brian Javier. Present. Carlos Antonio. Present. Elizabeth Martínez. José Arnoldo. José Galileo. José Jonathan. Present, Miss. Okay. José Rodrigo. Present, teacher. Juan Carlos. Laura Carolina. Present, teacher. María Concepción. Present, teacher. María Elena. Mayra. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Mayra Moreno. Present teacher. Nelson Gabarrete. I'm here, Miss. Omar Francisco. Present. Okay. Oscar Villatoro. I'm here. I am here. Okay. Thank you. Zaira Marleni. Wendy Maribel. Present teacher. And Jenny Suleima. Okay, thank you, everyone. Thank you for your effort for being in the class. Yes, Aira. Uh, I have Anna. you here. Ah, I'm sorry. Anna, tell me. <laughs> uh, a presentation on yesterday and uh, sends. Uh, Send it. Uh -huh. yeah. Send it to me. Yes, and I'm oh. going to, to check everything. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Thank you. Have a good night, everyone. I'm going good to stay night. with Elena. Bye, bye tomorrow. But nice to see you. Good night. See you good tomorrow. Night. Take good care. Tomorrow. Bless bye, you. Bye. 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 Bye, guys. Okay, Elena, just one moment. How are you today, Elena? Oh, the microphone. <laughs> Activate the microphone. Yep. <laughs> today, we like it's fine because we have a um, meeting mm -hmm. with partners, the project. In, ay, ¿cómo se llama? Pero es bien bonito. <risa> bonito es el, el club árabe. Ahí estuvimos en una. Este día vamos a estar así. I así don't que. Know that place. Es adelante de Torre Futura. Ah, ok. But you liked it. Entonces, sí. le gustó. Sí, a mí sí me gustó, porque ah, más tranquilo, porque hemos estado bien atareadas, hemos estado llegando bien tarde. Yes, yes, me recuerdo, hay unas clases que iba driving, usted ya ocho, 
9 p.m. ya. Bien tarde. Y empieza temprano, right? Empieza a trabajar temprano. Media nos vamos. Uh -huh. Todo el día. Es yeah. uh -huh. tiring. Ya yeah. ahorita ya cae rendida en su camita. <risa> Ay, claro que sí, he estado así que no aguanto. <risa> Ajá, imagine, yo sé. Más que estar Otra. sentado y poner atención, a veces le da sueño a uno cuando ya está muy cansado. But... <risa> I know, I'm sorry, pero sí, a veces el final de año así es, it's more difficult. Pero luego, sí. mire, ya van a venir las vacations, ya vamos a la mitad del curso, ya tienen su vacation. Y ya, ajá. So Gracias. tell me, tell me, Elena, is there something I could help you with? No sé si hay algún tema que quisieras reforzar, or if you want to practice speaking, what would you like to do? Quiero ver si encuentro, creo que fue una de las primeras, la primera, primera, primera tarea, como las empecé ajá, a hacer. Ajá, la de los comparatives. Ajá, esa de los comparatives, ninguna me salió buena. Ajá. <risa> ok, vamos a, quizás en cómo las escribió, porque, ok. If you want to, we can practice comparatives. No sé si quiere que reforcemos los comparatives. Sí. Okay. We have two kinds. We have two kinds of comparatives. We have. Okay. The, the comparatives we studied two weeks ago is when you compare only two things, right? Two yes. groups, two things. And you have adjectives, okay. Thin, fat, big, small, mm -hmm. uh, beautiful, handsome, intelligent. Okay, we have these adjectives, and you can transform the adjectives into comparatives. Podemos transformar los comparatives, perdón, los adjectives. A comparativos. Ok, para hacer un, comparat un comparative necesitamos la palabra more. But in English hay diferentes maneras de poner ese more. La primera regla, no sé si se recuerda, Elena. The first rule. Hay una regla que habla de los adjectives que son de una sola sílaba. One syllable er. adjectives. Agregaba er. Ajá. O sea que este more que usted ve acá es en inglés es como ese ER que le vamos a poner. En vez de decir more big en inglés, todo lo vamos a poner en in one word. Entonces ya vamos a poner bigger. O small, entonces ya quedaría smaller. Fat. Butter, double T, butter. Okay. Porque la regla dice que cuando es un, una sola sílaba, solo le ponemos ER, que es ese more, pero ahí está todo en una sola palabra. Cuando ya son two or more syllables, entonces sí ponemos la palabra more antes del adjective. More, beautiful. More, Handsome, more intelligent. Okay, porque ya hay two or more syllables. Hay exceptions, hay exceptions a, estas, a esta regla, de la, la regla de one syllable, que es una que le aparece en el ejercicio, ahí le aparece good. I don't know if you remember. For good, the comparative form is better. Cambia totalmente, es una exception to the rule. O tenemos el adjective bad, and the adjective, the comparative is worse, or worse. Son exceptions porque la palabra cambia totalmente. It's totally different. O está far, que es de lejos, y el comparative is farther. Esas son exceptions, ok. But most of them, la mayoría van a seguir así. Con esa, con esa regla. Ajá, ajá, 
Ahora, en su tarea, en su homework, tenía que solo poner el adjective. Lo único que tenía que poner era esto. A ver. Esto. Ahí creo. Y el then. ¿Mm? Por ahí creo. Entonces, porque puse todo lo, en toda Ajá. esta situación. Ajá. Ajá, y eso estaba dando error porque todos estaban poniéndolo todo, ¿verdad? Ya ha cambiado, pero solo pedí el comparative y el then, ¿verdad? Que es la palabra que utilizamos para comparar. Entonces, modifíquelo y póngalo así. Solo el adjective, pero en su manera comparativa. Y el then. Bigger then. Y ahí sí se la va a tomar bien. Se va a tomar bien esa tarea. Can you, can you try to create one or two sentences? Can you give me some examples, Selena, using comparatives? Can you compare two things? En una, digamos, en una oración. Uh -huh. Ocupando uno de esos. Ajá. Two examples. For example, my son, my little son, is smaller uh, than then, your, then Daniel, que es mi niño, mi, mi, el mayor. Ajá, thank you. <risa> Solo que small no se utiliza para personas. Para personas vamos a usar short o, o está hablando de la edad o de, de la, la altura. De la edad. Ah, ahí se utiliza young. Y se utiliza old. Old de mayor o viejo. Y young de joven. Pero no, no utilizamos el, el de pequeño, literal. Así como en Spanish. Entonces sería. Ajá, y le pone ya el comparative. Son uh -huh. Santiago is younger. Así, younger. Uh -huh. Younger, porque es un solo, una sola sílaba. Younger than Daniel. Ajá, correcto. Or Daniel is... Is older than Santiago. Ajá, correcto. And you are comparing to... O si ya el contexto, ¿verdad? Dijera que estamos hablando de ellos dos, yo puedo decir, por ejemplo, Daniel, I think you said, right? Daniel sí. is older. Porque ya habíamos hablado de Santiago antes y habíamos dicho que estaba pequeño, algo así. Y luego digo, oh, he is older. Y ya no necesita poner el otro. Ajá, so that's the way it works. Friday, Friday tenemos la clase de comparatives. Vamos a tener todas las dos horas solo de comparatives. Vamos a reforzarlo más. Ajá, porque uh -huh. sí. Si... Comprendo, pero ajá, me cuesta. We need eso. more practice. Tenemos que practicarlo, ¿verdad? Así como el de would o el de could y might, like, que le decimos un montón y ya después Al, ya. Regresando, ahora, ahora que estábamos con las compañeras, regresaba cómo es la palabra y regresaba. La... <risa> We have to practice a lot. Eso es que, eso pasa con el inglés. Requiere constante práctica. Y más cuando uno va comenzando, because you have a lot of vocabulary. Se le junta un montón de cosas a uno, entonces necesita más practice. Bueno, no, y también quizás ya de viejo en el conocimiento, <risa> necesita uno todavía practicar all the time. A mí hay palabras que cuando no las digo, mucho se me van. Y luego me quedo, la conozco, la sé, but I don't remember. Y hasta que la reviso, ah, that was the word. Entonces, suele suceder. It happens. But yes, Friday. Trate de, de no faltar. A ver, ¿verdad? Porque a veces le cuesta con su trabajo. Pero, Pero eso sí. aquí hoy, mañana y pasado aquí en San Salvador. Ah, ok. Entonces se supone que sí va a lograr venir a tiempo y todo. Sí, súper <risa> De ocho y media, entramos a las tres y media, estamos saliendo. Ah, ok, ok, ahí sí le sale bien, ¿verdad? Ya temprano termina. <risa> sí, ya es todos los días que galán. Ajá, fuera bueno. Ok, so yes, Friday ya va a ver que vamos a practicar mucho. We will practice y vamos a ver un poquito de grammar para recordar. Refresh the, the rules. Uh -huh. 
que a veces eso también, cuando estábamos ahora, en, cuando se ocupaba in, tú, that, for, esas nos costaba si iban, no iban, cuando iban. <laughs> Ajá. So yes, we will, we will practice it a little bit more, eh, Elena. I don't know if you have other questions. Mm, quizás esa es la que más me preocupaba porque me salían todas malas. <laughs> okay, try again. Try again and I don't think you're going to have a problem. Just remember the adjective in the comparative form and then that is all you need. And for good is better. No, the last one, number five, is not gooder. That doesn't exist. Better. Better. Better than. That is the right form. Sí, ya probé con la primera, que es bigger that, y sí me sale bien ahora. It worked. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay, <laughs> Elena. So we're going to stop the session here, and we continue practicing a little bit more tomorrow, okay? But okay. good to see you, Elena. Take care. See you. Good night. Yeah, good night.